my friend Valor Rainer Moon here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we we'll enjoy the best place and moment on VCT Pacific Stage 2. Between the Indonesian organization, they're building their new star player money at RRQ versus the Japanese organization who despite the past results look good on stage one and has the star player May it's the FM this game will be the first of these two things in stage two and I hope will be a great game Go, man. this game will be fun bro up. they want to supplement it with the high tide make sure that you have full time and look at this they're already concerned about the absolute slew of utility that might be flying out from RQ trying to bait that out with the fake yeah it's, uh, it's definitely a lot to deal with Nat did take a little bit of damage there from the shock dart but this is going to have to come down to a retake as the wall already going to be thrown forward and the flash over the top Oh, the double flash is a timing a little bit missed here by RQ. They just have to go in and win these fights dry, and it's not working out for them. Yeah, not looking good so far. Estrella is going to be the one guy to get it done, but Anthem is holding it down. Money and Sparrow do get a couple of pieces, but now two. a lot of time blocked bro. here. And still a couple of members left for Medusa. It's all up to Monyet here back on the roster in the first round. And he's just going to have to try to hold it. It's not going to happen. Dog. So firepower-wise, the bonus is still going to be a pretty strong bonus round. But May really nice proving that up. he has been putting up the numbers through and through. Ooh. And let's not forget, May and Jemkin, they used to go at it against each other back in Challengers Japan last year. And now they're meeting each other on the big stage. As they will be able to get this plant down. It does look like RQ will look for the retake. Oh, yes, just saving up Indeed. the Shock Dart and the Masha as well. Recon online, so everything there for the retake. And Xpero's good for two on the flank. Yeah, Xpero, huge value Mitchell. there. Medusa finally able to take him down, but this is going to make this a pretty even spot. As looking for the defuse now. There it goes. Jemkin going to throw that down. Anthem has Not the defuse, man. Still though. going. He's controlling this area, and Estrella is also able to stop them from getting in. Anthem does trade one back, but this is still going to be a round over to RRQ. Draws out the Reckoning as well, so ult for ult, but you still got no command on the side of RRQ. Yeah, they do. Anthem, though, pushing out here, able to get that first kill. And now it's just kind of on the run. They are going to get this plant down, look to defend it. As there it is, but Xparrow up top, he is going to pick up one, and May's going to win that long-range fight now. The defensive lockdown here from the side of RRQ. And we'll look to potentially stop this from happening and they are just going to try to rotate out of here entirely and move over to a yeah, a bit of a miss on the fragment as well so now they have to take out anthem before they go for the rotate because otherwise they will leave their backs open and this is an absolute pain point for rq it's a good flash but that's a flash drive invested so not exactly an ideal scenario especially considering that this was not a full buy round for dfm they've already drawn out all the ultimates on the side of rq i would say that's a victory in and of its own but if they get more kills here, it's going to be Ooh, bad for RRQ. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely fantastic timing there, knowing exactly that one guy would just be out there rotating in. And now Medusa with the oh my quick God, headshot man. with the Sheriff. And you see that Jemkin is saying, well, can do now. I don't think I've got a chance here. And he might just look to back out of this one. And now going to throw out the Hunter's Fury, see if he can get onto the back of the site. And DFM should be able to do exactly that. There's not a lot of pressure. And Maze is up top here. They do not even check it. Xparrow just going to go down just like that. Yeah, yeah. Absolute wild card position off of that dash. But for now, Five it's a quick retake eight. coming in from RQ. The attacker lockdown has to be used to try to fend this off. There is a fragment, but can you throw it in time? He's already there to try to block it too. Medusa. So forces them to have to back off and give the spike plant. Spike plant won't well, come down, but a very nice shock dart as well. Trying to pressure on Anthem here, trying to punish. But now Anthem's still up top. Are they going to check this one? The timing is pretty good. The shot okay. as well, but Elmimor and Jemkin. Two and two. One apiece. Anthem still Can alive on 17 health. And it is a straight up 2v2, a little bit low health Whoa, for Anthem, but that was, Man, that was insane. insane. He's able to peek the corner. Can he pick up a 4K? He's not going to be able to. Monyet in a 1v1 against May, and he has no idea good where May is. Line, and that is a four Oh my god, what a shot, DFM. dude. DFM are just stacking them up here. Nice shot from Elmimor. Down, but, you know, not the not the easiest defense here, but that's another one going the way of Elmimor, making things interesting. Looking at pressure, trying to get on oh, top of the so good, man. He calms down, hits the head, 
and gets another one with a shock dart. Will take him down as the rotation is coming back towards A as we left. do see. What did Anthem do in between the two stages? I mean, he's <laughs> caught, he's doing like a really calm, slow wide swing against Junkin and yeah. absolutely outplaying him in that 1v2. Tell me more, sees one. They haven't spotted him yet. Oh, that's huge. It's already four, but Medusa is going to be able to take him down. Tell me more, not expecting that extra pressure to come in. Time out. EFM definitely staying a step ahead in the reads. Oh, he heard stuff. Yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of variety. Big, sure. For sure, in terms of what they have shown. Did see some poking out through mid here as the orb falls. Man. Oh, that was sick Good from Xperl. Very quick flick. He is going to take down Medusa. And that's a big one because that's the tail end. Now they can't watch their flank anymore. You imagine that DFM will have to stay grouped. It's either that or they go in with even lower numbers as they leave someone like Cess to maybe watch the back. So RQ will now say, we'll just make they sure that we're holding on to the back site. We know that we have the numbers advantage. We just want info no on the B side and keep the map control. We're going to go for a similar entry with the Hunter Spear. He just uh, clear out some of the corners. Looks like it did a little bit of damage. May as well is going to get trend. one, but immediately gets taken out by Jemkin as the pressure out of the back of the site. And Elmimor is going to get his own down, Hunter Spear okay. kill. This push so has been gonna see pretty much shut down as you can see Zest going for the plants here. Takes a bit of damage, but Anthem is able to defend him for now, but the shock dart and Mon Yet Beacon, it's all up to Another Anthem in the 1v1. And Mon Yet's going to hit Third the headshot the charm, and bring RQ no! back onto the board. Not getting as much value as he originally would have hoped. And Ooh. once again, up top, <laughs> RQ, you got to start looking up. Yeah, they really do. I mean, May is just swinging on the vine into uh, uh, into the site and just not expecting that like at all. This. It is going That's to so still sad, be a 3v3 right situation. Right. As this pit is still up for Manya, Nestria still able to hold this corner now. As, yeah, Jemkin able to come in and help the cleanup. And now it's all up to Medusa. Who has a lot of pressure on him. And oh six, my god. Gets two, and he's going to hold the plant here. And he what? gets the third one. He's able to clutch it out in an insane manner. Medusa, Medusa. man. What has gotten into Last this guy? In what the, the fuck was, was that, so man? Two from RQ, the high low. It's not what like was they were that on tempo I or anything. Like he was yeah. to the ground, no? But Medusa just has full faith and he's oh going to hit the first god, shot. Oh my god, man. There's no way right he won that. That was crazy. TFM. Whatever was their over, trading man. Richmond has been in between oh, the stages, always, everyone's got to pick that up. Like this, I mean, oh. look at this shirt, and he this. misses, which, by the way, a rare sight for Jemkin, but the reaction there off of the plan as well. She used to use those timings. See, that's just trying to jiggle peek, just trying to get information on what this push is going to look like. Sess ready for the utility to come over the top, but that recon dart is going to get some value. Jemkin picking up the first kill on this entry. Neth and his buddy here just hiding around the corners and these entry oh. kills from the side Ooh. of RQ are looking yeah. good. Monyet 2, Jemkin 2. Nice, and May. now it's only May you left got in a 1v4. Four four. Four. Well, he's got a couple 4Ks here on this map. Let's see if he can do it again okay. with the Sheriff. But everybody hiding away. You've still got Monyet just to buy time on yellow as well. Recall May, he's aware of the fact that there might be someone on the hunt. Coming around, wrapping around, giving the numbers advantage that RQ has. So it's good to see that the round may dude. feel lost, but May keeping his focus, making sure that he's getting what he can. Oh, well, he's going to see that uh, barrel and the hands, actually, I of the Killjoy. Like not a lot of time here, and he is going to on that lurk. That's a lot of firepower that they can work with, making sure that they don't count their eggs too early. Spamming nice through shot, that smoke, man. knowing nice that, shot, will, you know, this is the strength of the double controller. Xanthem up on top, looking, trying to push forward, but already, Moshpit going to come down. And oh Elimor is going to clean man, out there. one, takes down Beautiful Medusa, shot, who was up top. And Elimor still holding this angle, he's able to hold the spray and take down Anthem. Sess to straight it back, but there's not a lot of time here for the side of DFM on the retake. As they will try to hold this diffuse here. They are going to get into half, and Sess is able to push down it and deny this from oh happening. They God. get the diffuse. But it's still a good run for RQ. Time out. Hit by that the dagger. attack side for RQ is looking good so far. Man. Side of I think May should try to send for out. There's so many things in his face. As the Gekka Utility does come in, but May hit tonight. Anthem as well. Medusa gets a kill. He make that two. And now it's all up to Jemkin here in the 1v2. Medusa going to peep him again, but Jemkin 
Not to be outdone. Pinks gonna get trash. Is going to get this spike planted oh, as well. Oh, this is huge, man. This is huge. Yeah, straight up 1v1. Sass a bit healthier at this point in time. Yeah, Jemkin's weary of the flank. The spike in a good position for him to try to spam it down from afar oh, as well. Sass. But you have to remember, it is the Viper left alive. Two is low, bro. You sent Toxic Screen trash. to try to bait out Jemkin's position. Right, see where the spam's coming from and then counteract it. It's a matter of time for Sess. So many angles to clear right now. And there's still a decent amount of time here, at least, on the defuse. He is going to, to tap it. And here comes the Thrash looking desperately. Heard him, I think. Yeah, must have. And now Jemkin going to throw down that snake bite, or rather get hit by the snake bite. Seth is oh really trying God. to spam it, but no, Seth is able to hold it and finally gets taken out at the very end. But still, it's another close round that goes the way of DFM. We have no space on A, and DFM's cleared it so deep. May jumping off of the conveyor belt as well, looking right across the edge. So DFM knows for certain that this is a B hit. They definitely do. Jemkin trying to just throw something at Medusa. They want to hit him with something. Shock Dart's coming out. Medusa will be cleared out, but Sess with the Bulldog still holding this angle, and he's got some support as well. Oh, Picks up two, making three. Nearly gets a fourth as Estrella takes some damage. And now it's Estrella no. and Nick Sparrow. And that's a drop shot, but May should know he is in the corner. 30 seconds left. Yeah, but now there's the backup. Oh a good God. call from RQ. Lose a like that, bro. They realize that Xpharo's stuck, and they might as well make it a 2v1. 20 seconds, have to book it all the way to the A site. The spike should get planted, but RQ, they're trying to calm things down. They want to check Time all corners. Only 14 seconds. Now you don't have that leisure. You got to swivel. 10 seconds yeah, they left. do. They do a bunch of that. It's going to be up to Anthem, who was uh, incredibly clutch at the beginning of this map. We'll see if Anthem? he can pull it back Winnable, the here once again. It is a 1v2. He was able to pull off a 1v3 earlier to get the clutch for the team. This is a big ask. There's also the turret down here up against the Killjoy. He doesn't have a lot of information, and yep, the straight up the knife, timing man. There. What the able to catch him with the knives out. And are ready for this retake, and there it is. Our ball is going to come down, but still this plant will happen. And trying to peek here is May is going to see a lot of them trying to spoke on some of the heads, and now the thrash is coming out, and is going to get taken out in that corner. Here is the lockdown, trying to push them back as much as possible. The lineups are good for now, just trying to buy time during all of that utility. And Monyet, good for the first kill, trying to get the spray down. They know that they're sticking oh, to Monyet needs to keep bro. going. <laughs> that oh, was so there fun, is a stun the diffuse from happening. Monyet just on the back oh of the side. Oh my god, that down. was nice, bro. Time out. <laughs> Towards A, which is where RQ are looking to push. As that suppression is going to come down. And they do look to push here onto this one, the Hunter's Fury once again, but Lanyat's still going to go in, and Neth is going to take him down, but Estrella and Jemkin, they push onto the site, and this defuse is looking good. It is a five kill in for a RQ. But now he's just going to regroup with the team over towards B, as this push is coming in pretty quickly from the side of RQ. Shock dart already and some information. Not the best that, weapon uh, for the FM. Is here and ready to potentially defend. Now Ark is very well aware that the whole team is here. <laughs> what a oh, spam man. by Estrella. Yeah, that's just massive. But Anthem, a couple of Guardian kills making this interesting. Gonna take a lot of wind out of the sails of this push. Only more backing off, backing off. The push is coming down mid trade, trade. as we spike speak as well. Beat. Trade one for one, the spike is down. Sparrow's gone through. DFM has no idea. I mean, Medusa's watching it, but not through the window. Yeah, and this is really the critical moment. Can we see Xparo get massive value oh here, my. potentially get the drop on a two of them? We do see. Oh my. I think it was Anthem was looking down mid, but he's not looking in the right spot. The shot a little bit messy, but he's able to get the one as Neth is able to survive on five health. Okay. And Elmi Moore gets the read. Elmi Moore. Still sticking around Yolo. Only two to, to close the map, bro. The entire stack, or at least just watching mid here by DFM. Elmi Moore looking to get this clutch, bring home the victory for RRQ. Sure, Neth, like you said, only five HP, but it is still another body he has to shoot at, so we'll see if DFM plays this to their advantage. Yeah, he's also got that Vandal in hand, and Elmi Moore still, a lot of angles he has to hold down. As he is gonna find oh, Medusa no, in the 1v1. Man. And not exactly the best peak, I suppose, but it works out, and Medusa gets the kill, and they will get the defuse. Timeout. 
Thrash is being used to clear. They can't quite clear Nest, and that's the Hunter's Fury trying to fish for it. Will not land the kill on Jax Pharaoh. Yeah, not quite. Does do a decent chunk. As May, kind of uh, this, uh, awkward detain there for him as he is position. going to back away. I think they might have forgotten that this is a possibility. So much has been traded out, but now they know. He gets out oh, alive. He gets shot oh, alive. He get out of there. He's one able single to get that damage, kill and just away without much damage done at all. I mean, he's <laughs> 23 armor. And now no time. I mean, left. Viper's pit up on the B side. DFM's pretty sure that Ooh. this is a hit. Oh, Medusa. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still kicking Ooh. as May is able to come in and take down. Looks Jim. like you're going again, man. I hit Viper's screen and now Monyet up top. He's going to have to be the hero. He does pick up two. Can he make a oh three? No, no. Able to jump. Time's so low. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, that's the wrong. And a dream. And Sparrow trying to hold it. He is going to get one but kill, no but he can't get the second. And he doesn't have enough time. Down he will go. And we will have overtime. Three seconds left. And here they go. And with that cascade, that should oh, let RQ know. Feral, good spam through the smoke. Picks up an important kill on the Viper, and now RQ just needs to stay alive to play to the number of strengths here on the retake. And that's exactly what it looks like they're going to try to do as the plant does come down. Okay, kind of in a cheeky spot here. And a lot of uh, angles covered by DFM. Let's see how RQ does want to handle the retake. As they're sending one guy from behind, but the rest of the lion's share of the members looking to poke straight in as Medusa falling oh my down. God, yeah, that's taken it, out of bro. here by yet And now Elmimore, the perfect timing to get on in here. A couple of kills do go to DFM. Anthem still holding it down, but he can't cover every single angle. And RQ will pick up the first overtime round. He knows it's just a fake once again, and DFM's already here. The site's filled up. Yeah, DFM should be very ready for this. Now can they get the shots? It's really seconds. a question. Couple of guys there behind Yellow Neff. Now he's got the shorty out, but Zess is going to be rooted here as May nice picks up a couple. He is pretty low on health, but already doing the lion's share of the carrying. As now pushing in Medusa, they don't clear him out. He picks up two. And now it's Estrella with seven no seconds. Time, no time, no time. He's got to hold this one, and May is just going to peek him. Oh, Estrella does get the kill, but Anthem easily backs off and denies the round win. So we're tied up once again, 13 to 13. Time out. <laughs> Peeking on through, some walls are going to be thrown up. But May and Medusa have pushed forward here over the wire as well. Getting onto the site, now peeking out of the back of it as RQ are stacked up here. Elmi Moore able to get a couple, and Medusa only trades you know, back. That was clean, man. And that is that easily look the clean pretty clean. RQ. Now you see the drone as well, so GFM holding their ground on B. Meanwhile, Xfero not making any go. Oh, oh. My. Oh, he peeks out what? there, he gets flashed. Really unfortunate timing for me, but this is a great opportunity now for RRQ. I think to go huge they know mind. Anthem's right around the corner, and the wingman is going to help out what? hugely. They didn't Medusa take it? still able to get the one they didn't take Oh it? no, the flash not Come able on, to bro. stop him from getting that kill somehow, and Anthem holds it down. What is going oh on? Oh my god, the guy was dead, bro. Icebox just wants us to watch more of DFM because everything's going Xfero. their way. Oh, Xfero, he had That's pushed actually huge, all man. the way behind three. them. Right there. And now he's kind of the thorn in the middle of the map. They don't know exactly where he's going to rotate to. They can't rotate over very oh. quickly. Elmimore also going to get the pickoff onto Anthem here. Neth also looking to swing, and now Xfero, oh, clean, clean. able to one hold on to that one. Good and information. the last member of oh. DFM as that thrash. Not able to land, but he's on 10 health. 1v2. Yeah, that, no this way is win. looking this, this is like a done deal. GG. That will be RRQ finally able to take Icebox 15 to 13. Uh, probably not in the fashion that RQ wanted, given the hype around this roster reshuffle. But like you said, a win is a win. They're laughing as well. The fake drone, it bought just enough time, but they have to start to funnel through, and that smoke comes in perfectly for DFM to try to stall it. RQ, they're slowly making their way. Don't want to give away free kills, and that's a good trade from Monyet. Yeah, that it is, Anthem now in the boathouse, but he is buying a lot of time. He is staying alive. He's going to throw a shock dart in as well, and Neth and Sass able to make their way back over to the beach side. He's run out of bullets. Australia is going to be taken down. Elmi Moore, it is not of the spike, and he has a time is low, classic. Time is low, man. Fast, but he will be looking to rotate all the way from behind. Yeah, and Sass even like putting up the smoke as well, just in like case the wraparound has happened since like this, the last man, time they saw the Silver was on you know? the A site. Ten seconds try to switch to something that has some ammo, but it's not, and it's just going to be the classic rotate. 
now the execute onto the A side. The paranoia is good. He drops on top. Yeah, that he does. May not able to hit the shot, but it is traded. Nath does get one here in the corner as the push is coming in. And finally, they do take out May, though. On the top of heaven, they take out the operator. Now, RQ they will be able to get this plant. There's only Medusa and Anthem left. And not the easiest spot for them either. Okay, man. Find Anthem Huge as well. round here. Next Medusa got a save the Zodin, bro. Ready to lead the go to position for something like the Null Command. EFM's reading through that. Pop flash has come oh, through. Oh, that was so nice, too. man. Goes up Yo, above off with the I like paranoia. To see me on chat. All right, well, Jemkin is at least able to get that one, but still a huge value for May. Let's see what they can get done. Test in the corner. Clean spray round, them down. Bro. Huge and round, too, man. Up one, and now it's all up to Monyet. As, uh, they don't quite know where he is, but now they are going to get that information. Oh and DMM God. on the thrifty. And that was a very big round from them. I don't know. Yeah, that didn't uh, get it. They're still in mid. Yeah, Anthem knows this because they haven't actually got into the site. He gets one. Yuto coming out, but he's Whoa. trained on for three. That was nice, the man. Transfer. That was pretty nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Only next oh, left. Also the positioning as well from Anthem. He this is going to break that, okay, our gonna Q push. economy. We're going to swing off this dart. Let me swing ahead and yeah. drop in towards this A site. Anthem just going to get hit oh. by a huge amount of damage. Just walks right onto it. Maybe a bit over aggressive, and now, okay, Net is going to be able to hold down health for just a little bit, but just the one kill. And RRQ are just making their way oh in here on the God, thing. I love that the Pacific teams are taking pages out of Gen G's book, but maybe everyone thrifting each other isn't yeah, quite what we're looking it's not, for here. It's not only yeah, in Pacific, it is man. A lot. On game changers yesterday in the grand finals uh, of Shop Five versus FlyQuest. Great game, by the way. Well, not counting the round Man, it was no insane the amount of trips. Insane. Correctly, correctly, just like and go support the game changers. This one and it was a great game. To go. Okay, well. Gun here. That's going to come in here and pick up a kill, but <laughs> he, has, uh, he has a lot to do and not much time, and only more will take him down. Time out. <laughs> Although they might send the drone. Use, yeah, you got to use the drone. I mean, you, you have no other information or, elsewhere on the map either. Or that. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, yeah, what? you're going to have to use the drone one way or the other. Well, he takes out the turret, and now he's going to back away. And meanwhile, yeah. Anthem just waiting to mark it. Feeling the pressure. In comes the shorty. Estrella actually gets the kill with the Vandal here. And now the push coming My in. May is going to hit that shot. The operator and though. shut down this push on to B for now. Although, we do have a couple of members pushing. And we do have double... Lockdown. He's not just pretty good mechanically, but he's also he's playing smart. Himself, force them to have to stay in the site as well. He gets spotted, trying to stay alive. Two get detained. Can he find the second one? He thinks it's in sight, but I think May's going to survive this. Yeah, May is going to buy a lot of time there behind that little wall. Ten seconds left. There, the gun comes out once again. Monia oh. does get onto the site. Five seconds. Okay. Yeah, they got to plant this one. They got it. They got it. They got it. That they will. Just barely with one Monia? second left. And Monia pushing into them. Going to see the barrel. Remain. Takes out the first one. With the headshot, he's got a beautiful done one yet. Beautiful done man. Side of man yet. RRQ pushed their way out of the B site and make it happen. I want to see the replay, bro. So RRQ, the timeout. Yo, make almost kill. I think it was one yet, right? He didn't shoot, man. But DFM is actually ahead of it, right? The support from the operator. That was good. Great hold by Anthem initially, over by Market. Oh, but at yeah. the end of the day, Mon yet takes things into his own and creates all the space. You know, the, the old habits of the duelist coming in strong for the controller. You did great here, man. MB Slipper, we saw May doing a lot of good movement earlier just to do some scouting for his teammates on these trades. Sass <laughs> waiting. Calls oh, the bluff on Mon yet. He's already been hiding. And that's the controller alone on the lurk for RQ. No more smoke. Still 50 seconds. And they have to find something to work with. And maybe now you have to use the timer to your advantage to try to make sure DFM shows their hand first. Looks like they do want to push on in towards this B site. Medusa on the back of this one, May as well. What? Not able to get value though. Jemkin does pick up two. Anthem only getting Elmi more here as they will be able to get this plant on the B site awesome as plan. well. Next Pharaoh trying to get ahead of the rotation. He's already deep in market, but does he realize that there's two here? Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh, massive value for X Pharaoh. X Pharaoh, he wants too much. Okay, I was getting real scared that he was going to wait for too long. But that is the shutdown. Now you know that they're probably grouped up together somewhere here towards the defender spawn. That is just huge. I mean, DFM, they got to clear out market now as well. I mean, there's so many angles and they know exactly Ooh. where Anthem is. They Six to five. Both of them should get tagged. Sparrow, not sure if he was tagged just uh, yet, but Monyet hides in the smoke. 
Yeah, just gonna hide in there and a massive break. <laughs> right click on him. Hey, he's just gonna be taken out immediately. And Monyet being very annoying here in hell. They're gonna have to clear him out. Xfero pretty low as a lot of targets oh. here, but Monyet gets a second one. Xfero low on health, still able to get one. The Sheriff shot to finally okay, ring true though yeah. for Medusa. And he is going to get a huge value there. And that's a third Elmimor. one now to Medusa. Can he make it four? He's going to spot Elmi Moore, who is the last Stop member left here on RQ. Ooh, I think I'm a... It has Stop a lot to do, oh but God, they're oh pretty God. low on health. And the Shock Dart not going to hit. I thought he going to get Nets two kills at the same time. I'm not going to lie. It's DFM on attack to get another pistol round win. I feel like they're going to win this round, man. Well, they, they have good weapons, they, they can definitely win. Oh, this map on the attacker side is a straight little bit oh, slow on that one, but he does survive. get the kill, and we do have the shorty kill as well, but Anthem gonna get the low health to straight it down. Yeah, recons from both sides. Monyet not getting tagged in the site. Jemkin will try to hold on to Tree. As the trade, drone man. comes into support, Symmetry. trades across the site. Man, this back. is huge, now, what a, a shot. Swift Guardian kill. Elmibar kind of in an awkward spot himself. He's trying to peek this out, but might get double round. peeked as well. There goes Medusa. He's going to pick up another one. The Vandal getting huge value for him, as now they know exactly where Xfero is. The GFM. Looking to get this bonus. Oh, oh but the spray comes oh down from Xfero. God. Just barely able to clutch it out. Oh, save our RQ, Not man. The plant is here. RQ forced into the retake. Another retake coming through. The thing is, is RQ, they think that there's no flank because of zero point to attack anything, but Anthem should have an opening if DFM can oh just God. stay alive as Sess is trying his best to do. Trying his best, absolutely, but Jemkin just too clean, and Anthem the last oh one to God. get a kill, and RQ will follow up with another round win to tie things up. Time out. Just gonna try to push in here. Check with whatever guns they have, and May he gets in first, but he's immediately taken out by Elmimar, and they don't take oh. the corner. Xpero just sprays down three, and that's gonna Clean put an end round, to that. Push. Will be given a angle to push through as Estrella is gonna hear this, but it is gonna be the oh. knives of May who open up the back of the site. They open up heaven, and now you see Monyet not able to stop him either. And May essentially is just able to click on some heads, and they get in onto the A site. That blade storm can't ever count it out, and now well hidden. May looking to trade for his teammates, waiting to see if the door gets broken open. Jemkin good for one. Now they know where the jet is. Jemkin's waiting for it, but Sass, they don't account for another member popping out from hell. Yeah. They do have so much manpower at this point in time, and just gonna push on through. May is gonna be punished. Help me more once, Andre Siri. He's got the cred, so he wants to get a kill or even a death, but he'll actually get the kill. He's gonna uh, go for the clutch! Oh my! Oh. He almost made it happen. That would have been and insane. It starts man. Off insane, with insane, insane. In. RRQ, sound the alarms. And here is the Hunter's Fury. They're oh. all caught in this bottleneck. Oh, that's really yes. rough. Everybody's just oh. trying to jump around. Ninja, man. But it's actually Jemkin from the off angle who does get the one kill. But May trying to push through, gets the entry. Sess is taken out. Take on Dart. Taken down as well. But Jemkin gets the second on it, bro. Still terrible, alive. terrible, terrible. Huge round, round 11 to 9 and potential no map point for our kills. Smoke out the ready by Monyet if you look at the mini map. Yeah, maybe even a paranoia as well. He throws it forward, and, and that's going to be a lot of information given. So we do have the ult utilized there, trying to push on in. Towards this B site, just trying to force it, but there's a huge crossfire coming in from RQ. They're Bobby so ready May for solo. this, and May not even getting anything done except for one kill. That will do it. RRQ picks up the two to zero win over DFM tonight. DFM try to recreate the miracles from stage one in their opening match, but it's going to be RRQ coming in with what I would say most, if not everybody, agreed was an upgrade in their roster. And while it looked a little shaky in the first half of Icebox, they finish strong. Hello my friend, Valor Van Mooney here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, enjoy the best plays and moments from VCT Pacific Stage 2. Between the kings of Pacific, fighting to redeem themselves after Master Shanghai, Paper Rex, aka W Game, versus the Thai organization, Trying to take down a giant Talon Esports 
This game, my friends, will be the first of these two things in stage two, and I know it will be insane. It's gonna be a quick fill back up by Ban. You still have four members, and you would have expected on side of some talent, but my free still on board. He's not gonna one getting the kill, but still, it's going to be the trades here for Paper X. As Talon still holding it down. Surf, though, he has no idea that he's been surrounded. Falls back over onto screens, and that is where the something is starting well. to fire, Talon man. Holds his ground, nice. Two shots, Talon Five into three. the site, and all of a sudden, the site has been infiltrated. Talon needs to find a way to fight back, but it's a little bit too hot. Governor goes in for the peak, but he's Look single goes, down and alone. Now the rest of them back trying to fight back. Okay, two for three. Winnable, but the spike goes down. Surf That's wants to try to fish for it, but Jing still quick on the trigger against Ban. And at this point, Surf, are you going to go for the save? Surf, I mean, back on the duelist roll. Everyone else back up, so this is one of those rounds where you do have to consider it because you can still match on the next round. And Surf will... Gotta save, man. Boys is trying to hold nice shot. He's good for one. Can he get the boss, second? Man. Right, this man is insane, bro. Eventually gets taken man. down, but it's enough time for Ban to try to provide support, oh. but he's not in position to get out. Down to a 3v2, still numbers advantage, and Thrash online for Talon. Devai won't spot anyone just yet. The pit goes through, but the Thrash, it's going to be a huge counter to this ultimate. Do they use it right away? Not everyone's in position just yet. Governor has to flash. The fragment. Sneaking around the corners too, though. Now it's a little bit more difficult for Devai to stick the plant. Has to back off, but down goes Mind Freak, and all of a sudden, no cover available. Dizzy tags onto Devai as well, and he's got completely surrounded. A little bit of a line of sight, but not quite able to throw That's the hard for him, man. Three targets That's hard. Good run down. for Talon. Timeout. Slowly inching towards Kitchen. Hasn't been spotted by the Oh, Governor, be careful, dude. I had no idea. Oh, my God. They got destroyed here, man. Five three. Jing is there for the trade. And now the pit. Won the match now, man. It's turned into a jail for Jim Boys. Can he get out? The fragment. I don't know. So low, so low. all tied up. Mind Freak on the lurk as well. And he just spots our Okay. Not taking the duel, but at least this is a little bit of information oh, for no. Paper Rex. Talent. Yeah, man. Still that was stuck between that rock and impossible a hard situation place. for him. Unfortunately, having to bite the bullet there, Paper X. That and I feel like this two got to save once again, man. Just trying to save. Locked out on the six to two early just to buy time, but they don't exactly have full control of the plank. And meanwhile, Fragment goes out. Is it going to land? Perfectly. Wow! Hole in one. But that's locked down. God, Spike already being held. Up the round, Talon and Old Four now scrambling to find a position, but the Sage Well is there for the spam as well. I mean, this retake's looking rough already. You do have the Blade Storm. That's one more chance. Dizzy comes out. That's the setup. Oh, but there's the Dolphin Man. Just Actually, hot one. Now you have to work with the Operator. Everyone already falling down. Talon trying to get 2v2. Good flash, man. Pop flash from Forsaken, though. Fantastic individual duels being taken. And all that's left is going to be Governor. He tries to push up front, but Forsaken just watching the angles. Look at something, man. I wouldn't say I'm super worried. Just, I just, we haven't seen enough Look at this. talent. I feel like they that was nice, have man. a chance to really show us what this roll switch is about. You know, they are just starting out on defense. Nice. But for now, I mean, that's really nice. Good. You should run. Surf. Tillman will expire, so he's going to fall back for the time being. Lockdown being expended as well. It just gives and secures Paper X the site. Spike planted. Yeah, Spike already nice shot. Surf waiting for the peak out, though. Knows that Paper X will be relying on this lockdown. He will get detained for his troubles, but he's already dwindled down the numbers for his teammates. They'll wait it out. And meanwhile, something so clean, holding the ground next to screens, and they're not checking for Dubai. They do not hear the Phantom. Eventually, the train comes in for Jet Boys. Oh. Chaos ensues below, but something he's on shorty taste of his own medicine has mind freak a menace up to oh my him. god. What is many members for him? To I'm with these people with the shot, man. Want to find at least a bit of an advantage, and Talon has the space to make something happen. Dubai is alone. I'm just coming, still relatively safe. The rest of the team have arrived all the way onto screens. Everyone's here. It's a party. Yeah, and Governor's just gonna back it out. And Look at that. Is the wide swing of something. Well, of course, it's a trademark. I can watch it anymore, man. It's the big, bro. It took that to the next level, man. What? 
<laughs> oh, what a second. Congratulations, my friend. Mike Freak wasn't tagged all the way up on pipes, and now you've been spotted in mid. The weaponry not exactly in your advantage. There is the pop oh, flash up for a divide. The run oh, and gun, nice. and he absolutely transfers right over, takes a couple of the turns. Man, this sure is all of my pick, bro. To finish this map as soon as possible. Didn't look like, but it is. Map point for Paper Rex. Taking some early control, trying to creep up towards oh Pikes. Governor tries to make them out with a jump off the ropes, but something's down, ready for it. Five and Two members already down. There's the quick swing, sir. Don't have to do that for a second. It. Reads the tendencies of Paper Rex, right. but it might just be Why? too late. Mind Freak trying to hold on to mid. He's going to spot him. He's yeah, quick man, on this the snap. Is it, he has been absolutely crispy what since a the game for Paper Rex, bro. against Talon Esports. And with a minute on the clock and only two members left, Talon may have to kiss their map pick goodbye and get ready for sunset. Just way too oppressing right now. I mean, look at the utility. You look at the positions too. 50 seconds left on the clock. Sure, it's a lot of time, but no. Singular peaks immediately eliminated by something. Spotted out now. Chip Boys fires off his vandal. My boy, Jitu Boy is boy is insane, but good tap. No, but bro, he's just insane. He's done quite a bit in the past. Takes a little bit of unnecessary damage. He's rushed for it. Can't worry about it right now because you just have to win every left. single duel, no matter what. Jump on top of the box. Yeah, did you? That was impossible. And we'll get the kill. A 13-4 victory. Coming off of a rough run at Master Shanghai, Paper X is here to remind everyone of their strength in VCT Pacific.